toes now. Careful. Now that I can. Oh my gosh, he really is. <laughs> Camper family. Boop. Who is that? Riding shoddy with you. Is that Mickey? Aww. Is that your Mickey? Yeah, you like Mickey? Were you give go taking him for a ride? Say bye, Mickey. Say bye bye. Let's go get mommy. Ready? Let's get her. Wow! Here, Mickey wants to sit by you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Oh. boop. Ha <laughs> ha! Hi, Harrison. <laughs> Get out of my way! Hong Kong, Hong Kong. You want to go backwards again? Okay, come here. You can't use the remote yet because it you'll there's three speeds, see? And if you touch that button, you'll go a lot faster and we don't want you to go super fast yet. Okay? What do you who do you want to go back and see mama? Let's go see mama. Come here. Grab the steering wheel. Oh wait! Is that fun or what? Oh, wait a minute. It's a little dark. Might want to turn on your headlights. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see where you're going. So in all honesty, by the way, good morning. Did you already say good morning? Uh, Harrison oh, did. did. Harrison, did you say good morning? You said good morning. Harrison was sent this gift that with the stipulation that he opened it right away and that it remained anonymous. So, thank you very he much. Loves he it. loves it. He loves so much. We love it. It is great. It also comes with this remote mm -hmm. that is so easy to use, literally forward, backward. He wants to go. Okay, okay. Come on, Miss Daisy, drive me. That's what he says, right? He loves it so much. He loved it from the second that it was getting like put together put together that's what i hear i hear yeah. he begged grandma to let him in out he did he also begged to hold on Woo -hoo! i know you want the remote i know i really gotta get him a remote control car and then put the remote part away when when he's yeah. not using it yeah put the car away because he really likes to control the right. stuff. Right. Well, because this one's going to be going outside. Right. When it stops raining. Yeah. We went outside today to go test it out. We stayed out there for what, like ten? Well, we had we had to go pick up a big um, canopy. A canopy, which I'll throw in a tiny shot we got of that right now. <laughs> so what you doing, babe? What you got there, love? Nothing. The only one we could find was the New England Patriots. They didn't have another team. Not that not that we're Patriots fans, but I don't know that we're huge football fans at all, so it would have been cool just to have a Lions one. Right. You know, and we couldn't find it. Um, so we ended up getting that one, but we had to have it because it's just too hot here when the sun's beating down on him. Um, and we want to be able to take him outside a little bit more. So we kind of just were like, hey, we're going to have to get this and no longer have the excuse of we don't have any shade. Um, also for 4th of July, right. um, there's a big parade here in town. In fact, it's the only parade in, in, the, county. Like, in the county um, you know, for this. So 
we got it oh, and it'll, it'll provide shade for quite a few people because the only one we could find um, was a 10 by 10 well they had smaller sizes but well they had oh, I apologize they did have the 5 by 7 but it was really short mm -hmm. like it didn't it didn't go a little higher. It didn't go higher up at all. Yeah, so it's the one that we have is adjustable. Like if we ever went to the beach, yeah, we could make it really low to the ground right. and sit under it. But um, I just thought if we got a smaller one that we would regret it almost immediately because you, you know it's a bigger yeah canopy, more shade. I like your I'm sorry. I like you today. I know you do. I like you. You have fun. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> Yeah, so Carrie pretty much had to talk me into spending. What's wrong with me? I don't know. She was like, the 5 by 7 is great. And I'm like. It was a lot shorter, though, when he pointed it out. It was shorter, and uh, I just, I, I know that you would have been upset about how small Sure, it sure. And at least With this way we can use 10, more people. We can help we can, more people. Yeah, too. more people can sit under it. Yeah. So. And what's going to end up happening is we're probably going to have to put it on our grass along over the sidewalk so it'll give some people some shade too if they're walking by for a minute because the one thing like at one o'clock or whatever like around our town there's barely any shade it is a sun blasted area especially in the front part of our house so i think this was a good purchase a purchase that we might have not made if we hadn't had a youngin right but Ouch. You know, we'll just take care of it and we'll be able to use it for more things than just, you know, just the parade. Right. So, I'm pretty excited about it. But he is just really excited about this gift, you guys. This is just amazing. Look at this guy. Just walking. He's like, I'm going to touch your tail with my toes now. Careful. Now that I can. Oh my gosh, he really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are so silly, bud. Another thing he's been doing lately, too, is he hasn't been falling since he's been walking. I mean, he, okay, let me go back. He has been falling, but he's been learning to sit down instead of, instead of just plop down, which is. depends on his speed, I've noticed. Oh, heck yeah. If he's trying to run, he's like, whew, well, on your hands and knees, but if he's walking, then he like squats down to get his balance. That's one thing that I never really thought about in terms of our own child, mm -hmm. that he would just up and start running. Like, oh. and I should have thought that because remember when he's pushing the little push cart around, the one that's right the, there, yeah. uh, he did run with it. He was like moving as quick as he can. Uh, yeah. Um, I did see a comment. Somebody asked about the two Elmos. I don't remember what vlog it was in, but yes, we ended up finding one in a marketplace. We were lucky to find it for $13 as opposed to where some people were selling them for $300. Um, yeah. well, brand I, new in the box. I know we talked about that we needed a new Elmo, but I don't know if they actually ever saw why we needed a new Elmo. Oh, so. we never showed anyone? I don't know. I don't even know which one the broken one is. You you can tell when they're standing up. This one is. So one of these was our niece's so when she was growing up. This one up. is the broken one because it's not standing up quite straight. Okay. But watch. I don't like to think of He's sitting down. There should be a stool here. He's talking to the floor. <laughs> and look at him. He will sit and watch it. <gasps> oh, the way up. Oh, it stands up. He looks right up to it. Uh oh. Like, um, what now? You're a big giant. That giant's there. Yeah. I'm scared of little red monsters. I'm and the giant look at each other. 
It's okay. Needless to say, we were super happy that the the woman was selling it. Um, she said her daughter just never took to it. And it was nice that she wasn't trying to, trying to you know, make a buck off of it. I, I did feel bad because maybe she didn't know, like, how much it was actually worth. But we didn't buy it to, like, sell it, you right. know. So we didn't feel bad about, about getting it. Well... These toys were made in 2007. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's when it, most of, and the Tickle Me Elmo, you can't, I, I looked for that. They have like newer ones, but they don't have the old Tickle Me Elmo that. Was so popular for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Hi. Can you get the kisses? Can you get the kisses? They have another, I found a couple other ones. I haven't, I put them in our little queue thingy just to check them out. There was like a read and learn one. I think, I don't know what stories he'll read or if you can program him to read oh. different stories, but I wanted to check that out. So if anyone has any, okay, any info on that, that would be great. But he's definitely really liking um, Elmo. <laughs> right? Right, Rosie? You know. Do you think Rue will ride in the car with him? No. No? I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you think she'll ride in it alone? I don't know. Mm. Wouldn't that be cute? It would be. Oh, it might be something for us to do later without scarring her. <laughs> yeah, we probably should do it after Harrison goes to bed. Hi, Rue. Well, maybe he'll like it even more if Rue's riding in it. Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, what do, what's, what's going on? I am going to trace out a uh, rocket ship for by trace you mean sketch mm -hmm. okay for a pizza planet rocket yeah for Harrison's birthday party Hi, <laughs> I don't even know what to say that was like so awkward but I really thought she was gonna put her stink star in my face kind of and by my face I mean the campers faces oh. and there it is no, don't, don't show them. <laughs> Where do our days keep going? I don't know. Because the last clip that we have, we were playing with Harrison. Mm -hmm. And then we continued to play with him. We did. And it's now like 9.30 at night. It is. And we're just getting started on mm -hmm. our adult stuff. Can you guys tell what this is right there? Oh, they can totally tell. I thought it was really dark. It but is really dark. Looking through the camera, it was like... Super light. Super light. Come on, Primmy. Come on, honey. Know, like, Harrison went to bed. He probably was asleep by 8.15. Yeah. And then we came out and we had dinner. Uh-huh. And just kind of relaxed a little bit. And now I'm getting started on this. Oh. It took me three nights to finish the uh, blocks. Those looked awesome in those photos. <laughs> they did. A lot of people really, really liked those. I'm really happy that they did. Yeah. Excuse me, Prim. Stop rubbing your face on everything. And you know, like, there's not much that you can do differently. Mm -hmm. You know, like, because Toy Story's been out since, like, 95 or whatever. Right. You know, so people have been doing these all along. Thankfully, we have websites with Pinterest and, like, all these different things now. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you had the idea to just buy, I haven't seen it like that. Like, you just bought boxes. Like, that was pretty, like, cool. Thanks. I liked that you did that. You were very creative. Well, I'm just happy that the letters from this puzzle worked out perfectly. So I could trace them instead of, like, try to make each side match. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. Because I think that I am, like, okay with the arts and crafts stuff. You great. I did freehand a pair of scissors once. I love that you did that, and I love that you had a box big enough to make those. I don't, I don't even know what box it was. Did you, you, we've showed them the rock, paper, scissors outfit that you and Brittany and Rachel wore, right? I don't know. Hmm. Huh. I wonder. I don't know if we have. I think we have. I think we have. I'll have to try and find a picture and maybe to make an insert it. Who was rock? Me. You were rock? Mm -hmm. Oh, babe. I made a little skirt. Uh-huh. 
I mean, a little skirt. Oh my gosh, Alexis. And then, and I wore a black shirt and then I held up the rock with suspenders. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. That's awesome. So I'm not sure since it's been like all day long. I don't even know if I told you or if you remember, mm -hmm. but I ended up not um, going right to bed last night after my homework. Okay. I did uh, a little shopping mm, okay. and it was on Etsy. Okay. And if you guys are familiar with Etsy, this is not an ad or anything, but Etsy is a really cool website. It's like basically like handmade gifts from people. Not sure how they get around the licensing, you know, because obviously I bought Toy Story stuff, but they made like handmade signs. And I had tried to make some signs a few days ago. Carrie brought me home a Pizza Planet like cutout, and it's for the pizza boxes. And what I was gonna do was. I was going to, I remember, I, some, one of the campers said that they were going to send us some stickers and I don't, I couldn't find the email to contact and I thought it was Dana. I, I didn't remember and I tried to find, if you're watching this, I tried to find you in the group, but anyway, I just, I couldn't, so we were, we had to move forward and I tried to make these like signs and stuff I was trying to do it and then I figured hey if I can do this I can cut out these arrows and do all this like really cool stuff so long story short Carrie brings me the stuff home it did not work I mean I traced it onto another piece of paper so I could save it save the original that Carrie made and then I took that piece of paper tried to trace it on cardboard I was going nuts like cardboard thick like this so like I took the paper and I like dotted holes in it so that way I could cut it out of the cardboard and the cardboard was so thick that it looked horrible and I couldn't I just couldn't do it it, it yeah. was bad it, it looked like <laughs> look at Rue watching you it looked like popcorn yeah you know how like popcorn ceilings because it was mm -hmm. all an even like yeah. so I was just like forget it I can't do this this is not gonna happen so last night I went to Etsy and I found the Al's Toy Barn sign, the Pizza Planet sign, mm -hmm. the small ones, the little arrows, and like I, they can go inside that dowel thing. Yeah. You know, like you had said for the for the blocks is what made me think of it. So I did that, but I just realized just the second when I was talking about all the Pizza Planet stuff that I never figured out anything for that still. So I got the arrows done that I we probably could have done, mm -hmm. and I didn't do those stickers, so... If you are still willing to send us some, please let me know. Um, if not, I'm going to go ahead and figure that out. I did see some on Etsy. I think they were like two fifty a piece. Ooh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to make... My friend Jake used to make stickers back in the day mm -hmm. because he wanted stickers for things that nobody else had. Okay. So he would just make them. Oh. And that was like long time. I mean, like, I don't even know. Like... 20 years ago something like that so but yeah that's the only other thing other than tablecloths and then we're gonna be all set like I think we have everything like super excited that all this is finally coming together I'm excited too sorry I'm she in is in the zone you guys I'm Look in at my this. zone again it's coming along quite nicely it definitely looks like a rocket so she plans on like cutting a slit up in here. I'm cut a slit probably right along here. To make it look like it sticks out. And then I'm gonna stick a flap in and it'll like hang over. Wow. That's really cool. So it's gonna look like, can I see that on your phone? Yeah. So you're gonna make it look like it kind of pops out. Yeah. If they can see that there. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. See, and this is the sticker. Like, we paid for all these, too, on Etsy a long time ago. Anyway, we I was saying we paid for those digital images, so we have those. Right. But I don't even know where we would go to get those printed. I mean, worst case scenario, we could just print them on paper. Right. And just tape them. We, we found... Um, I don't, I don't remember how many, but we got some, we just ordered pizza boxes, like plain white pizza boxes, and we're going to use them to put treats in. So, and they weren't that expensive either. They were on Am or Amazon. So, I mean, and we can, you know, reuse them. 
uh, our pizza place, no one had like white boxes. Right. They were all like brown and stuff like that, and it just, I didn't think it would look the same. No, it, I think they have to be white. What are you pulling out? This. Oh, okay. So that's the logo she printed out for me. It's got a stain on it. Where? Right here. Oh no! I can print out another one. I just wanted to see. That will fit nicely. That's a good so size. you think you're gonna be able to paint Pizza Planet on that? Mm -hmm. You're gonna make it look like that. So why don't you just paint all the pizza boxes? <laughs> oh, no, Do you that's... know how hard this is going to be? I know, but I can't believe you're willing to take it on. Why? Because people are going to see your work. I know. You going to be okay with that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this so far, though. It looks great. Thanks. Then I just need to make the other flaps to go out. So are you going to start painting it tonight? I don't know, maybe. It Eureka! Right, though. It's 10 o'clock. It's pretty Eureka. Late. Well, let's see what we Eureka. do. Eureka. Oh, is it hard? It's not easy. How are. Okay, so the other day, literally everything that I was just talking about, how are you cutting that so well? Mine was terrible. Well, you have to consider the fact that you were doing something super small and delicate. It was very intricate, yeah. And this is not. Okay, because like your corners, or corners, your cut marks are like beautiful. Thank you. Everything you do is so beautiful. Honey. You, uh, look at Harrison. I mean, oh. I know we did it, but gosh, look at him. He's pretty amazing. That's he? like 99% you, babe. 99%? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's you too. Well, I appreciate that. I'm just saying, you are a perfect human being to me, and I love you so much. Baby. Wow. So let's see. Let's see. You okay? Yeah. You feel like you're on like display? I do. You're gonna cut yourself? No. Oh gosh. Yeah. There she goes. Are you gonna cut the fin off? No one knows. No, I'm not gonna cut the fin off. I mean, the good thing is if you paint it, it's really going to cover up the imperfections anyway. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Babe, you, you. Look at that, y'all. <sighs> We're getting there. We're getting there. The other fin? Fins. The oh, fins. Like plural fins. I think I might have missed that in your explaining. Yes. Well, because I'm going to cut the hole. Oh, so you got to have one on each side. On each side. So we're going to have to maybe like hole punch it or something and hang and it. And hang it. Yeah. Close to the wall. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right. You know, I was going to say we'll just show everybody tomorrow, but I think we should just wait so they can see it all today. Yeah? Yeah. Because that looks pretty cool. Thank you. Man, good job. Thank you, thank you. Babe, it looks so good. Well, I made one um, oopsie. Oops, okay. So I wasn't thinking, and for some reason I thought both pieces of cardboard needed to slip in them for them to mm. come back together when only one did. So I cut a slit in the rocket and in these wings. So I might redo the wings. Uh -huh. Those will be easy because they're just going to be painted red anyway. Right. And I am going to bend them so that they're bent down like this so it looks like that. 
And I'll probably round off this. Right, and then it'll line up with the other one too when you round it off. Yeah. So it's like the one fins aren't higher than the other. Right. Still looks great. I think, I'm telling you, you were very creative, madame. Thank you. Looks great. I'm really excited for it. I think. I think it's going to look really nice. You know what it's going to look really nice? It's going to look nice on Harrison's door after. You think so? Yeah. I think he's really going to like it. I don't think that there's room on his door for it. Probably not. It still looks really good. Now I just got to get the pizza plant on there. The rocket ship's white though, so you probably want to paint the whole thing white first. Right. Before you put that pizza planet on there, because that would be difficult to paint in between. Yeah, I'm going to paint this white, and then this is red, this is red at the end, and then these are... Wow. Look at just craft day. What a great day. It really is. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we go, a long time ago we used to do like shout outs. Yeah. And it's just something that we forgot to do all the time. So Carrie and I have kind of talked about it. Um, not that we're going to bring shout outs back, but whenever we come across a comment, we want to make sure that we kind of highlight it a little bit. And before I do that, so two befores, before before, I really want to give a shout out to all of the people who moderate our channels for us. Because as you guys know, we have our mod squad and they check out all the comments and they make sure that there isn't a comment you know that's horrible to someone else you know they monitor them and then they also let us know if there's a comment that they really think that we should see so i came across a, a comment today and it's from susan childress um and she wrote love the pick of harrison and yes tiff i agree one person can make a difference but a whole army of people can move mountains now she agreed with me it's something i said but the fact that somebody else took the time to like write it down and genuinely come across as if they believed in it that's pretty cool and it not just speaking about the foster closet but speaking about so many things that we've done you know the other day in our chat we found out robin was pregnant you know after trying right you know we found out that it, lots of people were in the hospital up a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. i mean what happened to crystal she got bit like a bug bite turned into sepsis and then was it cellulitis? cellulitis like holy cellulitis sepsis, then yeah. sepsis like and because of all of us together all of you guys you guys rally together and do this for people and, and you build them up so like this is what i'm talking about it's not just like stuff for donations for different causes and stuff like that this is what we do for people on a daily basis and what you guys do as well so thank you susan for that um i do appreciate it and always shout out to crystal for making sure I put links in, as I have now fixed. She says it's her job, and I agree. I agree. So, the final thing that you will see before we say goodbye is how much work that little Prim has done making this super duper space Prim, shuttle. You have to be careful with your blades. You can't leave the, the Yeah, mouth. Prim. You'll cut yourself, honey. Yeah, you cut toward your buddy, not you. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> do you have that clip of your mom? I do somewhere. Have you heard the too. phrase cut toward your buddy and not your body? Mother? No, and I don't believe in it. Why don't you believe in it? You could cut yourself. One slip and that knife's going in your chest. I'm not gonna slip. You I've done it. I've done it. I don't believe in it. <laughs> oh, she also doesn't believe in recycling anymore. She's really sad. I don't even want to talk about recycling. I'm getting upset about all that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Mwah. And Mwah. let's end on a little baby kitty paw that won't come in. Oh, look at it. It's, it's the end screen! Yay! Today's shout out goes to. Boop. And if you missed yesterday's video, Look right there. And if you want to subscribe, click right up there. <laughs> By the way, Carrie, I really like your shirt. I like your shirt too. Where'd you get it? Currently, our shirts are available at our Teespring store. Go check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>